Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this episode, let's make an African violet bubble garden together. I first experimented with a bubble garden last year when I planted a semi-miniature trailer Rob's Gandaru in a bubble. And today I wanted to show you step by step how to make a bubble garden and we'll use some different African violet varieties for this one. So let's get started. First I'll show you what I got uh, in preparation uh, to making the bubble terrarium. So I got two violets that I've been growing on wicks. This one is called Rob's Twinkle Blue and it's a micro miniature variety that blooms with pretty blue uh, bell-shaped flowers. And then I also got another variety that is called Sinks Arctic Fox. And this is a sport of this variety. I got it as a freebie from an eBay seller. And I find it very pretty. It's a wasp semi-miniature trailer with variegated foliage and it blooms um, with some lavender white blooms. I found a picture of this variety online and I'll show you in a second. Here it is. It's a very pretty wasp semi-mini trailer with variegated foliage. In addition to the African violets I also prepared um, a couple of other plants and I'll show them to you. This one is a moss variety for terrariums and I'm not sure exactly about the name of it. Uh, I got it actually at uh, Trader Joe's last year around Christ Christmas time. It was decorated with uh, some Christmas ornaments and so I have um, rescued a part of it and just uh, have been growing it um, domed for extra humidity. I noticed that it likes extra humidity but it doesn't like too humid soil so I haven't been watering it much. We'll see how well it does in the terrarium with African violets. Then I also got this type of a plant that I also don't know the name of and we'll play with all these plants to see how well they fit so uh, this is another variety I don't think it's a moss I think it's some kind of a succulent it's very pretty and then I got some moss that I collected from the garden outside in my place and uh, here it is right there I, oh it was almost all dried out but when I watered it and kept it domed for a while it started perking up and uh, I will be using the potting mix that has some insecticide, systemic insecticide mixed in to make sure that we don't get any harmful insects from outside. So this one has been potted on top of that systemic insecticide potting mix for a while. Then I got some floral moss that I don't know whether or not I will be using but I just thought it was pretty when I saw it in the store so that's a dry type of moss not the live type of moss then I got some pebbles uh, to put on the bottom of the terrarium and also some larger pebbles to maybe put uh, on the top of the soil and of the moss and then I got some seashell to see maybe we could use that one also um, when I watched a few terrarium tutorials available on YouTube and Facebook I learned that 
um, the growers use horticultural charcoal so I prepared about a cup of that or two cups and it's a small fracture charcoal and um, you can find it in your local garden centers and here's the one that I found in mine it's called premium charcoal by Unigrow and of course I have my potting mix and I will show it to you in a minute this is the potting mix that has the systemic uh, insecticide by Bonide that's the brand that makes it mixed in with some uh, coarse perlite and it's a combination of Promix BX and perlite and the Bonide systemic it's already been pre-moistened so uh, if we water it at the end inside of the terrarium it will be just a little bit of water and there is a video of the potting mix that I posted last year I'll include a link to it in the description box under this video if you'd like to check it out then of course we got the actual terrarium in which we will be planting our bubble garden I got it in the home goods store it is five inches at the opening five inches wide and at the widest point it's about eight inches wide at the widest point I also got a couple of uh, pretty decorations for fairy gardens I thought that they were fun even though I might use them or not use them we shall see one is a little bridge here and another one is a little blue bird that sits on the sign that says fairy crossing and these are called fairy garden forest figurines and then finally we probably will need some tools for that so I got some uh, tweezers in a tweezer set and I think I've already used this one for the previous bubble garden just to fix um, the small things inside the bubble and some makeup brushes uh, soft brushes to clean up the dust from the leaves and finally I got two types of watering bottles one um, is just a regular a ketchup squeeze bottle that I got from local supermarket and I've been using it up a lot as you can see by the worn out label it has a shorter nozzle applicator um, and this one has a longer one and I've seen people use it successfully and recommending it to, to other growers I uh, got this one I think it's called the hair dye bottle or something like that I'm not quite sure um, they, they're sold on Amazon and eBay um, and this one is in particular uh, convenient to water the inside of the terrarium garden so I will test both of these and we'll see how they work and before we plant let's inspect our plants to make sure that they don't require any extra grooming uh, because it will be difficult to groom them while they are already inside the, gar the bubble garden so this is a semi mini trailer and it has a main stem with a main crown and also a couple of other crowns that are younger and it's growing really nicely so this one looks good and then Rob's twinkle blue it does have a couple of suckers that are little tiny little young crowns that are growing from the main crown stem so we will need to remove the suckers first before we plant it inside of the terrarium 
and to remove them we will use this little tool here um, it's just the manicure kit tool so what we will do we will wedge this a little bit at the very base of the sucker and move it a little bit to to have it removed and as you can see it already moves easily and then from this side as well just a little pressure not too much and it will come off just like that so as you see this is a little small crown and we will actually pot it later in a small pot and then we will get a new Rob Twinkle Blue plant out of it so let's put it aside now and let's remove the next one so let's find it first so here it is you see right inside growing off of the main stem and so I will try to do it so that you can see how I do it uh, you can support the main crown if you apply a little pressure just to make sure you support it and voila it got removed so that's it you see how small it is but it's already well developed and it has two pairs of leaves so it will grow nicely so we'll put it aside for now so I prepared some um, two uh, ounce plastic cups and uh, the labels with the name of the variety and the today's date and so to plant them we will just make a little hole here in the uh, center of the little cup and plant the sucker inside not too deep not to bury the center and so it's going to be just like that and um, we will water it just a little bit even though the potting mix is already pre-moistened and then it will go into the greenhouse it needs to be covered with elevated humidity for about a month or a couple of months and then it will root and grow into a new plant and we will pot the second one the same way so just a little indentation here and the little sucker goes in make sure it's vertical so you see how it's under the angle they're very small especially since this is a micro mini so we're just gonna put it vertically and then uh, align the soil to make sure it supports it nicely the soil mix it's actually a soilless mix because it doesn't have the soil it has pot, uh, peat moss and perlite so no actual soil there okay so now it looks nice and straight and it will go into a greenhouse together with its body so both plants both African violets are now ready to be planted so we can now start assembling our bubble garden so on the bottom we will put some of the pebbles so it's about this amount here I would say maybe a cup or a cup and a half of uh, pebbles up to two cups then we will put some some of the charcoal an even layer of charcoal and the charcoal is recommended to kind of keep um, the, the soil inside of the terrarium order free I'm trying to use the 
uh, charcoal sparingly, not, not too thick of a layer because I want to make sure that we have enough space to put um, the actual potty mix. So about this much, just to evenly cover the pebbles. All right, and now we can put the potting mix. So we'll put um, about two cups of potting mix in and then start adding the plants and then we'll start adding the potting mix around the plants. Now the most exciting part, we will start planting our plants. So I'm thinking on the back of the bubble, we'll put this uh, moss here. So it's going to be our back wall of the garden, so to speak. So let me get it out of the pot first. So I will gently squeeze it out of this plastic cup in which it was had been growing. And maybe we'll use a little tool to wedge it out. It doesn't have a very strong root system, so it mostly grows on the surface like this. So we'll just arrange it nicely along the back wall. And try not to disturb the roots too much. So maybe just a little bit of the potty mix in front of it, just like that. And maybe some on the back. To make sure it has the room to grow. Alright, so I think that looks good. Maybe a little more soil in front. All right, so that's good. And now on the other end here, we will put another background plant, which I hope will work for this. It's the succulent here that I showed earlier. So I'm using the other edge of the spoon, trying to be creative. And it gets out with nice roots. And so we will put it um, here in the spot over there. So the spoon is quite helpful because it helps you make indentations in the potting mix. And so I'm imagining this might grow a little taller. Uh, so maybe put it a little towards the, not exactly against the wall, but a little closer to the center in case it needs room to grow. And just cover it with soil. Like that. So when um, you plant your plants in the terrarium. Think about that they will be, they will not always remain the small size. They will most likely be growing larger at some point. Just uh, what might happen to my uh, Rob's Gandaru bubble garden. It had outgrown the garden, that terrarium eventually. So I want to make sure that these plants have a little extra room to grow as they grow larger. So this will be like that. And now let's choose the spot for Sanks Arctic Fox, the sport variety. So I think we'll put it somewhere here and then or maybe here, and then Rob's Twinkle Blue will go this way here. So 
So I'm getting things Arctic Fox out of the pot and I'm not disturbing the roots at all. I'm just leaving them as they are and I will make a little space here for it to go inside and let's turn it the way that it has some room but also I think it will be growing up towards the light some so I think this will be good okay and add some soil or potting mix around it to make sure that um, we level the growth point with the potting mix inside of the bubble so it will be like that hopefully it's gonna start growing up a little bit but right now it's kind of laying on the soil which is okay we can put some pebbles in there or maybe even the shell that we had prepared but first let's pot the last plant Rob's Twinkle Blue it has really nice roots and it actually it grew up out of the tiniest little sucker something similar to those two suckers that I showed you previously um, and it grew into a nice uh, plant so this is uh, going into the bubble now so for it I'm gonna make a little hole in here and always you can rearrange I mean if you don't like the arrangement that you originally make you can always have it rearranged up to your liking so I'm gonna make a little hole there and put the little Rob's Twinkle Blue in there make sure that the center of the rosette is where you want it to be and also that it um, gets the room to just a little room to grow because it's a micro miniature so it doesn't really need much room just some and put some soil around it And so evenly distribute the soil and don't pack it just leave it loose because African violets like it uh, a lot of air in the potty mix so we want to make sure that the potty mix in the bubble remains airy all right so I think it looks quite good so now we can just place some moss all around and some pebbles just a little brush action here to make sure we remove all the dust and particles of the potting mix from the African violet leaves and uh, I think we're ready to put in the moss and the pebbles the moss that I had collected and grown a little bit in the systemic insecticide um, potting mix we will put little patches of moss like that in the middle and put it inside the soil kind of just indent it a little bit but don't press it too hard so it keeps growing nicely inside just like that
and it will look like a little forest here eventually hopefully when it grows uh, a little more all right let's check it out um, I think um, as far as plants this is enough and even for the decorations I don't want to over decorate it I think the plants already add so much beauty to it so I think I'm gonna skip these two things the figurines for the fairy gardens and I think I might save them for the next project for a larger terrarium so I do want to finish it off with some pebbles here because I think they will add some beauty to the cover uh, of the potting mix to the surface rather so and I think this um, shell here is also a little too large let's see yeah I think it's gonna be too much for this so let's keep it simple we'll just add some pebbles and uh, water it and I think this should do so we can, we can add some smaller pebbles and some larger pebbles to make it look pretty and sometimes um, those large tweezer tools could be helpful to lay those the pebbles at in the areas where you cannot reach uh, but they're a little slippery so let's try yeah something like that so I will water it very gently uh, throughout and because the potting mix has already been pre-moistened it's just gonna be just a little bit of water and this water contains fertilizer and let me show you the fertilizer that I'm using I used to use Dinagro or Dynagro uh, with the ratio 795 of nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium uh, and then I switched uh, because I noticed that my plants were not getting enough uh, food for some reason and maybe it's just because I needed to repot them um, so I'm removing the excess drops of water if they get onto the leaves and this bubble will be under the artificial light so it's not um, a big deal if uh, you get some water uh, on the leaves but still I recommend uh, removing the excess liquid from the leaves especially uh, make sure you blot the centers of the violet plants because the centers um, they have a tendency to start rotting when water gets inside of the center so um, make sure the center is nice and dry all right and so now it's nicely watered and I promised to tell you about the fertilizer so I switched from this fertilizer Tina Grow liquid plant food or Dynagro I'm not sure how to pronounce it exactly so it has 795 ratio of nitrogen phosphorus and potassium and I switch to Jax it's a classic Jax all-purpose for fertilizer and it's a balanced fertilizer meaning that the ratio of nitrogen phosphorus and potassium is exactly the same and this one has 20 20 20 ratio of nitrogen phosphorus and potassium so I started using one eighth of a teaspoon per gallon for my weak watered plants and um, I think for regular watering it is recommended to use one fourth teaspoon per gallon so I will start using uh, that fertilizer and that ratio for this particular uh, bubble garden so I think it has enough moisture now and what I'm going to 
going to do next is cover it um, with plastic and I made a few holes here it's a regular salad bowl <laughs> that I saved from a Trader Joe's salad and I made some holes um, on the bottom with a soldering iron just to make sure that there's some access of air into it and it will go under my lights into the plant stand and I will be posting updates on how well it does in the future thank you all so very much for watching and if you'd like to stay tuned for my future videos please subscribe